So the closest this country had previously come to even the prospect of formal criminal accusations against a former president was about almost 50 years ago now. But President Richard Nixon then uh, avoided that fate when he was pardoned, pardoned by his successor, President Gerald Ford. So here to discuss the historical significance of this, uh, ABC News presidential historian Mark Updegrove. Mark, I want to ask about the Gerald Ford side of it and how what lesson that might teach us today. He was the president of the United States. He lost his presidency in many ways because he decided, in his judgment, for the good of the country to pardon Richard Nixon, uh, which was considered at the time very controversial. You know, my family didn't like him at all, but in, the, in retrospect, he's, he's admired for that. Here we have the Manhattan County District Attorney saying, no, I know better, I'm going to indict this guy. I mean, is there, is there a difference? Did the times change? Did the people change? Or is this a different case? It's a fair question, Terry, but, but let me talk about the, the Ford pardon. So Ford as, was our only unelected president. He was never on a national ballot. He was the first president to be appointed under the provisions of the 25th Amendment to the Constitution, which allowed Richard Nixon to appoint him after the resignation of his elected vice president, Spiro Agnew. And uh, Ford came into that position in November of 1973 and found himself president in August of the following year upon the resignation of Richard Nixon. That was on August 9th. And a month later, on September 8th, 1974, uh, Gerald Ford pardoned Richard Nixon of all wrongdoing, which, which uh, the, the America was obsessed with at that point. What, what is going to be the legal fate of our, our, our former president? What, what is going to happen to him, given the obstruction of justice that seemed it seemed he was clearly guilty of? So uh, I think he felt it was the right thing to do to allow the country to move on to more pressing issues, including a foundering economy and the lagging war in Vietnam. Two thirds of the American public disagreed with that decision at the time when Ford died in 2004, or 2006, excuse me, uh, two thirds of the American people agreed with that decision because it allowed us to move on and not worry about the, the fate of, of Richard Nixon. Hmm. Well, definitely be talking about the historical precedents here. I mean, yes. indictment, seeking re-election, mugshot. <laughs> it's going to go down yeah, in the yeah. history books. <laughs> Mark up to grow. And that's Thank the you. difference here. It's the mugshot. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. you're absolutely right. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.